Now the warrior robots in disguise are in their own action-packed Transformer comic on sale now from Marvel Comics. Thanks for watching. Like and comment. And don't forget to subscribe. Hello everybody, this is Toys R Us and for this special video showcase we're going to once again be returning to the Marvel UK Transformers comic. What we're going to do for the first couple of minutes or so is just flick from cover to cover, stopping at anything that's interesting like letters pages and fact files. Then after that we're going to come back to the beginning, I'm going to zoom in and then you're going to have the opportunity for yourselves to read the comic if you wanted to. As you can see we're up to issue 150 now, this originally came out on the 30th of January 1988 and it has this amazingly beautiful wraparound cover which again you could have used as a poster. Um, quick fun fact about this, this was drawn initially by the very first, well the artist shall we say, who drew the front cover of the very first Transformers comic. Right so inside we're on part five called of the legacy of Unicron and this is a really good story to be fair uh, what's going on at the moment is Retgar is undetected laying some bombs underneath Unicron's head here we can see Death's head is funnily enough inside Unicron's mind in a bid to try and thwart him because Unicron's been in Death's head's mind and using him as a puppet for much of the most last few issues um, and in the meantime the Autobots have decided to come and indeed attack Unicron. So you've got Rodimus Prime, Grimlock, Scattershot and Smokescreen, they're heading onto Planet Junk. Unicron in the meantime is going to give Death Zed a lesson on his origin. Before we come into that, let's have a quick look at this beautiful Target Master advert. There are the Decepticons and here are the Autobots. And again, I love this because this is all art, it's all drawn, there's no pictures there at all. And this story is brilliant, and I don't know whether to ruin it for you guys or not, uh, but I'm sure most of you know it anyhow. So it's talking about Unicron and Primus and how they basically came about. Um, Primus's weakness obviously was to look after things and people, whereas Unicron had no uh, feelings for that at all. They managed to merge themselves into, I suppose, just barren space junk, and they drifted apart. Unicron managed to form himself into a planet and Primus of course managed to do the same except his planet was known as Cybertron but he also forged a matrix and that was obviously used to create other Transformers. Unicron's telling us all this story here then he realizes that Rodimus Prime is very close to him with the matrix and this releases Death Head from his mind trap and starts to attack them. And it's all about to go off, I suppose is the best thing to say. You can have a read of that yourself in a second. We've got Rodimus Prime's fact file here. There's his artwork. And if I say pause now, you can then read that yourself. And moving on to this advert for the annuals. This is all the annuals that were out in the UK at this particular time. We've got the letters pages. And although I know people like to read these, so you can pause now and read the first couple and the end one and then you can also read the other one there by my thumb right very quickly the rest of the comic is iron man because that's the b story and it's a marvel comic so we've got a robo capers cartoon at the back there if you want to pause you can read that an advert for the next issue and of course the back page is the rest of the store well the rest of the poster i'm going to be nice and quiet now you still may want to turn your volume down in case there's background noise but here you go, you can read it for yourselves. It's a great story.
there we go then guys this concludes issue 140 take care thanks for watching like and comment and don't forget to subscribe